With Desktop Authority MSI Studio from ScriptLogic, you now have a complete solution for application packaging and deployment in your Windows environment. Desktop Authority MSI Studio allows us to repackage an application for deployment around our corporate network. So if we already had set up executables in our environment and they weren't natively in the MSI format, we could actually create those very simply. All we have to do is tell Desktop Authority MSI Studio what's the name of the MSI file that we want to save this to, and then through a process of monitoring and snapshot, we're able to look at the configuration of our computer and then dynamically build the MSI file based on this. So we'll install the setup executable, look at what's changed as a result of it, capture those changes, and build the MSI directly. Now MSI Studio also lets us choose some advanced options on this. So whether or not we want to scan the hard drives and registry initially, or whether or not we want to repackage using system monitoring, and whether we want to search and add merge modules at capture. So this is going to be a complete solution for taking those legacy installations and creating MSI files based out of it. What we can also do too is modify an existing MSI file. So often a vendor will create an MSI file, but you may want to make some slight changes as to the way it installs, how it deposits shortcuts on the desktop, where it installs to, what it's named, all of that can be done through this. Now typically this would create a transform file, an MST file in this case, and what we're going to do is be able to create those MST files not just from the changes you make, but also very simply from the comparison between two other MSI files. What's very nice about this is we also can take that MST file, merge it back into the original MSI file, and create a transformed Windows installer package for you. So there's no longer having to maintain both the MSI and MST files. The third option we have is the ability to test the installation for MSI files. Now typically a setup executable will often already have an MSI file in it and it just simply has a wrapper on it to make sure that the Windows installer service is installed on your clients. These are getting less common but typically a vendor will do that already for you. So in our case here we can actually extract the MSI from the setup executable. So if we wanted to get that information out and then deploy it based on a technology like desktop authority software deployment, we could do so very easily. And the fourth option we have is to wrap an executable in an MSI. So if we already have an installation that's not an MSI uh, but cannot be captured uh, or should not be modified, we can actually take it and wrap it inside of an MSI here. So it'll create an MSI file for deploying drivers or patches that otherwise would be difficult to do. What also can be done quite easily with MSI Studio is the ability to create a new setup program. So now we can package, repackage any of our programs and we can do this in a very simplified view. So if we wanted to, from scratch, create an MSI file based on either a homegrown application or a couple of files that we wanted to deploy in our environment, we could easily do so with Desktop Authority MSI Studio. Now, Desktop Authority MSI Studio allows you to look at the raw table views because all an MSI is really is a database which tells us how to install a product. And we can look at all of those complex tables. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of different features on all these different tables. And often it's very difficult to make out exactly what they mean. So we've greatly simplified this. Desktop Authority MSI Studio lets you have IQ views where you can edit the product details, including the name of your application, the manufacturer, general information, how you want this application to be installed. Do we also want to set it up so that we can change how it looks in the add and remove programs, control panel applet, what other packages it can upgrade. So if you have other versions of your applications, you can choose to upgrade them here. What are the requirements? The application requirements, such as your version of 9x, your version of NT, your Internet Explorer version, your .NET Framework version. And we also can look for applications that need to be there in order to install this. From this, we can add features. So what do we want to name our features? We can add components. So any component that we want to add, whether it is a, an executable, a DLL, how we want to increment the count of DLLs. So this fully supports all of the different standards built into the MSI format. We can easily browse to and add files to our project. We can add registry keys to our project. 
Any merge modules can also be easily added, so if we need system files to be incremented for this, we can do so. What permissions we want to set on both the file system and the registry. Whether or not we want to create shortcuts and what those shortcuts are. We can add advertised shortcuts. We can add command line shortcuts to anywhere that we want on the desktop, programs group, any any files or ODBC connections that are needed, environment variables, how we want to handle services that need to be started or stopped for this, file extensions, any kind of COM information we need, and we can even tell it what the dialogues are going to look like, what kind of custom actions we want to run, and what event sequencing we want. So now it's very easy for us to easily create our MSI packages. Now one of the other features we've added into MSI Studio is both MCE and ICE validation. This lets us know that once we've created our installation packages that they're going to be consistent, that they're going to follow the Windows installer methodology and will install correctly for us without giving us any kind of problems. So Installer Design Studio will allow us to create these packages, allow us to modify these packages, and allow us to test these packages long before we actually deploy them in our environment. What's also nice about MSI Studio is that it lets us open existing projects. Now these projects aren't just the ones that we've created in Desktop Authority MSI Studio, but they can also be other files, compatible files, such as WISE's WSE or Install Shield's ISM files. So even if you have been leveraging other products to create your packages, you can now seamlessly use Desktop Authority's MSI Studio to create those packages based on what you already had, plus gain all the other benefits that Desktop Authority MSI Studio brings. So MSI Studio for Desktop Authority is going to allow you to repackage applications for deployment around your corporate network, create new setup installations in the MSI format for applications that you may have created in inside your environment, and also allow you to open up packages from other vendors to make this a seamless path to easily creating your applications for deployment.